Hey everyone, this is Angus Fairbairn from Boss Fitness and welcome to an all, another edition of Boss Babe Success Stories. Today we are going to be having some fun and uh, sharing in the love with lovely Zoe Hansen. Mighty Zoe, how you doing my friend? I'm great, thanks. How are you? Awesome, awesome. So good to have you with us. I'm really excited to um, uh, pretty much explore your story and the awesome success and changes and transformation that you've achieved. Um, and as we know, just like any other sort of killer books, whatever that we read, they all come with a story or a beginning um, and somewhere where they obviously, you know, started out. So what I'd love to set the tone for today within our actual chat together, I'd love it if you can just um, share for those listening how things looked, but well, pr pretty much for you in regards to your health and fitness um, before our paths crossed, okay? Okay. So I was in an absolute rut, um, binge eating, I was completely self-conscious, um, had no idea what to do in a gym. Mm -hmm. I was a little bit scared of gym still, so I'd started going but didn't know what to do in terms of reps or anything like that, how to um, advance. Um, I was emotionally eating, um, continuing to just go down a spiral negative path um, with thought processes, started getting a bit depressed, so all these sort of things that I just had no direction. Mm. wasn't good. Totally. So it's definitely not an ideal sort of place for many people to be in, of course. No. Um, how long would you say it was that you were in that sort of state for, Zoe, that you were cruising along like that? I reckon years, um, but progressively getting worse because I would continue to search for, you know, online clean eating things, all these yeah. sorts of um, little mini programs that absolutely do nothing or I'd try the juice diet or yeah. those sorts of things. So it would be a roller coaster. So I'd think that I was doing well, but then I wouldn't get any results and it would make me worse. So, you mm -hmm. know. Yeah. So yeah. like many people, I'm sure you guys are listening as well, can relate to that and the fact that um, we all know or have a general sort of gist as to how to eat healthy and what sort of foods to eat and whatever. But then if that was good enough, we would all would be you know, lean and mean and happy and loving it, wouldn't we? Um, and as Zoe has seen, like, the power of nutrition comes through, you know, doing actually what matters and what produces results. So I'm sure you can relate to this, Zoe, in the fact that it sounds like what you were doing was that you were, you know, like, because you're definitely someone who was applying yourself. You're going through, you know, periods of, um, you know, hustle, drop backs and binges or whatever, hustle, drop backs and binges or whatever. Yeah. This is obviously related to you know, the fact that what you were doing wasn't able to, I guess, allow for you to, uh, to be consistent with it and therefore it wasn't sustainable. And then yeah. when someone's in that sort of frame of mind and sort of frame of doing things, it means that they're setting themselves up for failure to be able to actually, you know, be consistent and actually uh, apply it in the long run. So um, as you said, yes, you've been going along for a good solid stretch of years. So um, I'm really, really thankful that I was able to come in there and actually stop that to make sure that it wasn't just another year going by you being stuck yeah. another year. Um, but instead was able to come you know, right in there and meet you where you were at. But um, of course, so we can see that it was a state of disempowerment or just you not being your best self. Yes, your best self was in there somewhere, but it was covered by all this negativity and other stuff that you're holding on to. So amongst that place that you were when you started, Zoe, what would you say were your biggest frustrations or things that were annoying you the most and you not being able to get results? Oh, just... Wow. Uh... <laughs> It was so intense as well. Just little things like, uh, not little things, um, even just finding something to wear, going to work every day. I work in fashion, so I would end up having an anxiety attack because things, nothing would fit me, yeah. um, which would lead me onto an obsession of trying to find the next new diet or craze or quick fix because yeah. I felt like the bigger picture, I, I could not see me ever getting my dream body. So mm -hmm. it was just too much, too much for mentally, yeah, mm. too much to do with. Yeah, so I was going to say, all of us, we know that we've got to wear clothes each day, and for you, the added pressure of, um, well, obviously, it's pretty cool, like many chicks, I'm sure, would just be like, oh, you work in fashion, awesome, and then you probably get, you know, cheap clothes, or you all that sort of stuff, but then there's the pressure of, you need to look good, you know, mm. each day for your, you know, for your job, but then if you aren't feeling good about yourself, that makes an absolute struggle for you to be able to, you know, actually, you know, go ahead with it and actually be able to function properly, but, um, sure, of course. Aging, that would, that things would, like that, even harder. Yeah. Completely subconscious, so yeah, mm, a massive one, of course, and I'm sure that would have stemmed into things like having a negative relationship with the mirror. I'm sure maybe as well trying to avoid that, um, yeah. and uh, things like photos. Maybe I'm sure trying to avoid, you know, yeah, untagging myself on yeah, Facebook, things like that. Like, oh, don't like the look of that one. Yeah, yeah that's it. That's it. And uh, I was going to say for those of you listening at home, 
know that when it comes to one of the cool things within uh, the members group for ladies who I'm working with, one of the things that I use to help people overcome this sort of fear is that after every single workout you do, you've got to post a photo of yourself. Yeah. So that was a funny thing for Zoe, and I'm sure it's been, you know, just, I can see that it's been positive. I hope you can as well, Zoe, in the fact that it's oh, really definitely. built within your subconscious mind. Um, I guess, you know, a restoration of that self-belief and you having more confidence in yourself and how you look and being in photos. Definitely. Um, but powerful, awesome. So we can see that you had those frustrations and that you were at a place where you didn't want to be. Um, how were these things having impact upon other areas of your life? Yes, it was obviously affecting your health, but how else do you think it was affecting other areas? Just my happiness in general, um, yeah. my motivation in life, um, wanting to go out, didn't want to leave the house sometimes. Yeah. It would come down to not being able to find something to wear as well, um, being scared of going to the gym, so feeling like every mountain was too high, like I couldn't, I had no um, belief in myself that I could do things. Mm. So, yeah. Mm. And um, when it comes to the area of, I guess, you know, mindset, like what's been powerful for you is the massive shift in mindset and who you've become today. It's been absolutely incredible and a huge testament to you, my friend. But when it comes to you know, listening at home, if your belief system is sort of shit and in the hole, know that that's then going to make it very hard for you to achieve the results that you want because yep. if you've got negative um, you know, sort of self-beliefs and wicked amount of self-doubt going on, that then means that it's going to flow into your actions being inconsistent and you know, sort of not your best. I mean, yep. Therefore, because that's happening, your actual outcome and results are going to be pretty much in, in, in line with that, so negative and just sort of seldom. Yeah. So what's been massive for Zoe has been the shift in regards to um, you know, her outlook upon you know, life, herself, and just her knowledge to what she's gained with me, which obviously has flipped that. So it's meant that her actions, she's able to be a heck of a lot more consistent because she's confident in herself, she loves herself, and is just learning to you know, just love how she looks and feels, which has then affected you know, obviously the results that she's achieved. She's achieved some massive um, physical changes in terms of how she looks and the strength that she's gained and stuff. But um, you know, obviously the results have been you know, a heck of a lot more positive as opposed to someone who you know, is just stuck in a state of just feeling stuck and overwhelmed. Yeah. Um, big difference between the two. Um, so obviously for you, Zoe, um, you were someone who used to program, hop, do different diets and things like that and didn't have any sort of real confidence in the gym. How do you feel that things are now in regards to that aspect compared to where they, where they were before? Completely different. I, um, I feel like I've become obsessed with fitness. Um, yeah. <laughs> my weekends now are spent at the gym because that's when I can spend the most amount of time as well. Um, if I'm not there, I'm looking on YouTube to learn proper form of new exercises or, you know, things like that. Um, I find myself wanting to help other people as well. So awesome. anything that I've learned, um, I have all my little, uh, you know, webinar, all my little notes for each Ooh. webinar, little piece <laughs> of paper. Yeah. I take it all in and all I want to do is just express it and show other people, tell my friends who need the help as well. Mm. Um, it's completely changed my life. Um, yeah. That's powerful. Who would have thought yeah. that, hey, just a full on few short months yeah. ago, bam, this is where Zoe's at now. Um, yep. How do you feel that your relationship with food is now, Zoe? Can you share, I guess, the shift that's taken place in that aspect and how you're enjoying you know, food now and able to actually be consistent in regards to what you've been taught? So my, um, the guilt that I used to hold with emotional eating as well, I would um, obviously binge um, yep. because I'm emotionally eating and then have a massive guilt trip with myself after that. But then I would still find myself eating again. Yep. Um, yep not hungry, you know, just things like that. Not even, I had no idea about nutrition. I wasn't eating enough protein. Yeah, um, right. So learning about all of this has just been amazing. Um, I now see myself when my body is a temple. So yeah. I look at a chocolate bar if it's 3 p.m. and I'm tired and I think, am I going to get my dream body if I eat this? So all your little mindsets and all your little comments, I hear Angus in my head, <laughs> uh, which is great. Um, yeah. Binge eating is a thing of a path, the past now. So... Even if I do um, want, you know, the ice cream at the end of the day, I make sure that, you know, the day leading up to that, I've eaten well, so I can fit in my ice cream and I thoroughly enjoy it and that's it. So, mm. yeah, it's awesome. changed. Yeah, it's really cool, isn't it? Because obviously, for those of us that are, you know, sweet toothers, so we like to eat, you know, things yes. like ice cream and chocolate and things like that. Yes. If, uh, you know, conventional sort of ways of doing things where it's just eating cleaner, eating healthy and stuff like that, Obviously, what we'd see is can't eat ice cream, can't eat sugar, can't eat this, can't eat that. So, what I think you probably enjoyed a lot, Zoe, is the fact that I didn't tell you to cut those things out, and yes. uh, you know, there wasn't any of that, which is really, really cool because what it actually does is 
because like because with say cleaning for example because we cut out so many things you what happens it. there is that um it actually puts into your subconscious and trick and sort of plays a thing in your brain meaning that when you enter periods of stress or something funny happens or whatever um you instantly sort of reach towards those things because you know that you can't have them yeah. whereas when it comes to what i teach you flexible nutrition and making sure that you know you're able to implement any sort of foods that you like when you want to so that way you've got that personal preference what it actually does is tricks your brain because um you know like it's a shift of okay i can't have this i can't have that to what I feel like eating, like it plays a massive shift on it and therefore allows you to be a heck of a lot more consistent and, um, you know, enjoy things a heck of a lot more, yeah. uh, which I'm sure you've enjoyed as well, Zoe, um, and hence being able to, you know, enjoy the consistency and not binge and not have that stress, yeah? Definitely. Awesome, cool. So what I love it if you can do is just share, um, you know, just quickly how the impact, because obviously you've achieved some great results, why don't you just share how life is different now compared to how it was before? Um, different in many, many ways. Um, when I'm stressed now, I'm exhausted from having a really long day at work. Um, another thing that I learned from you is don't feel like going to the gym, go anyway. Um, there was days where sometimes you are literally, you know, exhausted and I won't put myself down for not going. I'll have a day off. That's fine. But most of the time now I will push myself and I go into the gym <laughs> exhausted. I come out of the gym full of beans and feeling so much better and, on top of feeling happy with yourself that you've you know done it, you've done a good workout, yeah. um, the endorphins that come from it, it's amazing. So that's completely changed. Um, I just feel confident. Um, I'm saying yes to a lot more things. My outfits fit me again. Yeah. Um, you know, all sorts of things like that. I'm more confident at work. Um, and, yeah, like I said, i am just become obsessed with nutrition and training and I want to teach and help everyone and... Yeah, help all my friends that don't know the things that I know. Yeah, lead they're just on the right path. Prison one, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. So, um, you know, we can truly see that um, you've been able to achieve, yes, yeah, some awesome results, but a new lifestyle attached to that. So there's no doubt in my mind that you're going to be able to sustain what you've achieved and be yeah. able to continue to take yourself towards new heights as you go through the next phases of life, which is absolutely powerful because, um, <clears throat> as we've seen, no diets enable you to do that. They're heavily focused on just the short term. Yes, you might drop a couple of kgs in it, but because it's so full of restrictions, yep. it's pretty much like, you know, awesome. impossible to be able to continue that into the long yep. term. So, um, yeah, really, really proud of you for that, Zoe. It's amazing. Um, I'd love it if you can, I guess, share a bit of wisdom here. So, obviously, there's some ladies out there who are listening who um, are maybe in the same place that you were. So, they're feeling stuck. They, um, you know, are sort of just unsure what to do and just don't know if, um, you know, they should take the leap of faith towards, you know, coaching with me. I'd love it if you can just share a quick few words of encouragement there and then sort of some of the key things you valued most from me being your coach for the time that we were together. Okay. Um, so learning to take accountability of um, my diet, my exercise and things like that. So having a coach, well, having you pop up to check in how I'm going um, truly helped because it was years of laziness. Um, everything's a habit. So I, you know, instantly just wanted to give up, um, sit at home in my room and not do anything because um, yeah. that's what I've always done. But having you pop up, um, check in on me, um, even just tracking what I was eating. So my fitness pal is absolutely amazing. Um, yeah. Just taking accountability of what you've actually eaten because before that I would just eat. I would not have any idea what calories are in anything. I was eating above, you know, the... Um, limit of what I should for the day, which is no wonder why I was putting on weight continuously. Um, so taking away all of those things and having you there, um, just it's exactly what I needed. Um, I think getting a mentor is what any girl that's stuck in a rut like I was should. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, taking measurements and photos weekly, I think, is such a powerful thing. Taking that first photo yeah. was probably one of the scariest things I've ever done. Um, it was quite embarrassing as well, but give it a few weeks. Um, I looking back at that and looking at photos and how much my body had started to change was just so powerful. Um, anytime I thought that maybe I hadn't made as much progress as I'd like, I would compare the photos. There's apps that you can get to compare them. That was amazing. Um, mm. Looking back now, I'm so grateful that I took the first photo. Um, measurements as well are amazing. Um, yeah, it's. Uh, definitely important to do those things and um 
shifting your goal. So I used to wish that I was skinny. Uh, that was my goal is to get skinny. Um, yeah. Now my goal is strength. So I yeah. want muscle um, and it's going to continue to progress to uh, me being as strong as I possibly can. So mm -hmm. it's much more healthy mindset and um, yeah, strong is a new sexy. Awesome. Yes, I love that one at the end. That's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> she, uh, she picked the words from my mouth. Love it. Well done, my friend. But um, yeah, so the take homes there is that for those of you who are just going at it by yourself, know that you know um, anyone that has great willpower in terms of being able to apply themselves, testament to you, but know that you can easily save yourself a lot of time through having, I guess, the guess what taken out of it for you. So the idea in terms of where I come in is just to make sure that I can serve you and exactly how I did with Zoe. Um, to make sure that you know what you're doing, to know why it's working and so that you're feeling empowered throughout the process so that you not only do see your body change but you know why it's happening and how it's working so that you can maintain it long after we actually finish together. So yeah, as we can see with Zoe, yes, yeah, she's achieved some amazing results but she's going to be able to sustain all of this because we haven't done it in any way that's been restrictive. We haven't done it in any way where it's been really, really hard and just demanding of her but it's enabled her to be able to apply herself and stretch herself so that she can become a better person but now she's, it's as if she was just here but now she's taking things to here in terms of, I guess, you know, how much she's grown in terms of personal growth and the results that she's achieved. So um, amazing stuff, Zoe. Thanks so much for being open within our actual um, chat today. And I hope for those of you guys who are listening that um, you know, you're feeling inspired as to what's possible. If you're, um, if you're keen to organize, um, you know, I guess, a chat about how all this can work for you, by all means, get in touch and we'll organize one. And um, if you're keen to actually you know, know some more about Zoe and connect with her, I'm sure she won't mind if, um, you know, if I link you with uh, her, her, her Facebook URL and you guys can have a tee up and you know, ask her some more questions maybe. Um, if you're struggling with some of the things that she was. But um, by all means, I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks so much again for your time, Zoe. And uh, until next time, everyone, take care. Bye-bye.